Hello, friends. How are you today? So we are talking who's watching. And there was this song from the 80s. I think it was the 80s. And it was Michael Jackson. I always feel like somebody's watching me. No, I don't know if it was actually Michael Jackson. It was somebody during that time. Was that Eddie Murphy? It might have been Eddie Murphy, actually. I'm arguing with myself this morning, as you can tell. But you get it. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Or in the case of social media, we don't know who's watching. We don't know who is consuming the information that we are putting out for the positive as well as for the negative. And so your brand identity is extended to social media, especially because in the last five years in the pandemic exasper exacerbated it even more. We are what we put out on social media. And for the years of 2000 to 2022, much of our interaction and our networking was only available via social media. And so more and more people are going there for research and to get to know you and everything else. So I often get asked by friends who, business friends who I see in the community, you take a lot of time to create these vlog posts. Do they work? And actually, I can say that just when I think that I don't know who's watching, all of a sudden I'll get an email or I'll encounter someone that says, hey, I'm on your distribution list. And I love what you're putting out there. Or in the case of new clients, maybe they have two coaches and they're trying to choose one versus another, one versus me. And they can easily just go to either my LinkedIn profile or my YouTube station or my website to find my vlog posts. And the sheer fact that I have it out there and they get a little taste of who I am and what I stand for and how I show up is a distinguisher and a differentiator against maybe my competition that doesn't do any of that. And so I just don't know who's watching. We just don't know who's watching. So for the sheer sake of that, put stuff out there. Put good, positive information that's a good reflection on you and your organization, because it is that extension of us. Now, in this political season, as we are right in right now, I especially caveat that with be very apolitical, be a, you know, not have a statement. So then that way people can feel that you reflect one way or another. Um, that will turn people off as quickly as you possibly, as it possibly can be. I really try to stay as neutral as possible, especially during these times. I can't wait until we get to after November 5th because I'm so tired of all of this information that's out there. But there's some things that are being put out there by people that I know, that I like, that I trust, that I just don't want to know about. Mm, I prefer not to know about that. So just that reminder also about social media, use it, especially LinkedIn for your business extension, for your brand awareness. And don't forget to use the recommendations when you finish a project or you have a good relationship with an ally. Be sure to ask for that recommendation. People know, people see it, people use it. And it is that good reflection of you and your character. Refresh them also. That's that nice reminder. If they are stale, if they are more than a year old, then you absolutely need to ask for new ones and make sure that there's some diversity of companies, diversity of people, diversity of all the stuff that's included in your recommendations as well. If you want to know strategy specific to social media, I'm happy to give you some of my thoughts related to what's been working for me. You take good care and I will see you soon.